here he comes. The man who's never late. The guy who's always waiting around for me. And there he is. Sorry, man. I had to put in a couple of four minute, four minute Ks. I left home a little bit too late. <laughs> That's okay, not sure where they all are. Antarctica is a tough one, I don't know. Well, there must be like some British science headquarters. Oh, a bit of sunshine. Oh. Hate it. <laughs> Hate it. To dry out a little bit. Although soon we'll be doing that every day. Seven days in a week, come down, do what we just did. Can't wait. Can't wait. Okay, Meg, ciao. See you later. There he goes. Now for the lonely run back home in the sunshine. In the sunshine and the goddamn wind. There's no worse combo. That's the downside to running in the autumn and the winter. Mucky shoes. Still makes me happy. <laughs> All right, there we go. Uh, Midweek run done. That's the longest run I've done since uh, Boston Marathon six months ago. About 17 and a half k's. All good. Feeling good actually. Uh, and managed to get the pace down to, on average, it said four and a half minutes. Well, that's considering I stopped for a little while to have a chat with Dan, and we said cheerio, and. Uh, to give a lovely lady walking her dog directions. Uh, she's lived in Wimbledon 20 years, still gets lost on Wimbledon Common. Anyway, good run. Probably the most enjoyable thing about that was that it's nice and cool and it's rainy. Yes! Bring on the winter marathon. And the final reason why I think that might have been such a good run was for the last 7, 8K, I've been picturing this. Ham, lettuce, tomato, cucumber, cheese, guacamole, munch.